Hey guys, today I'm going to be customizing this apron for my barber using applique and this bandana. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so I've got the design here behind me as well as the materials I'm going to be using here in front of me. I'll go over those in a second. Let's look at the design first. So this is my customer's logo here. We will be using the 13 by 11 Mighty Hoop frame. This design itself is about 7.5 by 7.5. Everything here is going to be in black stitching. All these outside portions are all fill stitches as well as the trees. We are saving on stitches on the inside because we will be using that bandana for applique there. The outside is all going to be fill stitches. That's what the client decided. That's what I think looks the best. With that being said, let me show you the materials and what we're going to be working with today. All right, so again, this is the apron that we'll be working with. This is for my barber, so I want to make sure I do a good job so he takes care of my hair. With that being said, I realized these are removable, these straps, so I have taken those off and set it off to the side. The only portion we're doing right here is going to be a little offset, and we're going to be placing it right around here. And I am going to mark the center and make sure it is square to how I want it to be. As for supplies, I am going to be using two sheets of poly mesh no show. Although you won't see it through the back, I think this mesh material will match the poly the 100% polyester apron a little bit better and overall it'll keep the whole design fairly light. But to give it some extra support, I have about one sheet of 2.5 ounce tear away stabilizer I'll be using as well. For the bandana and the applique portion, I just picked up this bandana from Hobby Lobby. I think it was like a dollar or two. And to make sure it stays on there and it doesn't fall off over time when he washes it, I'm gonna be using some heat and bond. Let's get this prepared. I'm gonna take you guys over to the heat press. All right guys, so that was pretty quick. We got the heat and bond applied to the bandana. This basically allows us to heat press once we're done appliquing and it adheres the bandana onto the apron so we don't have to worry about it coming off over time. Next step is we're gonna get the apron lined up, make sure everything's centered, get into the hoop, get into the machine and start embroidering. All right guys, so I've got it hooped up. It's kind of hard, I have markings on here to see where the center is and where I wanna put the design. However, even though it's measured and it's the exact center by measurement, it doesn't look centered visually. And I think that's because the apron has some imperfections. So I'm gonna kind of eyeball it when I'm onto the machine, using that as a reference, obviously, making sure everything's still straight. But with that, let's run it over to the machine. All right, so the first step of the applique process is to get this outline stitch. That way I know where I should put the fabric. The piece of fabric is much larger than I need for that, so I can kind of just lay it on top somewhere as long as it's, I know it's covering that circle, which it is. And I know this part, this part right here of the design is gonna be more open, so I want the pattern to be in the area where it's open. So that's definitely something to keep in mind, but once I hit go, it is going to put the tack down stitch on, and then after that, we'll trim it out. Alright, so we have the tack down stitch complete. It's kind of tough to see, but it's basically this zigzag line that goes around that holds the bandana to the fabric now. And so the next step is to get some scissors and cut as close as I can to that without cutting the thread. And the reason you want to get as close as you can, so when it does the satin stitch on top of it, you don't have any excess um, fabric or bandana sticking out over it. So give me a couple seconds and I'll get that knocked out.
And just like that, we are done on the embroidery machine. I'm gonna get this pulled off and set it on the table so we can clean it up. All right, guys, the embroidery is all done with the applique. It came out excellent. I got my scissors with me. I'm gonna get this out of the hoop and then we can get it all cut up. All right guys, we got it all stitched out. This is what the final design looks like. And on the back after we have it cleaned up, even though nobody's gonna see it, uh, it does look well. So last thing we got going on is, of course, if you remember, we put the heat and bond on so that way we can adhere the bandana to the apron, make sure it doesn't have any issues and it doesn't fall off over time. Uh, we're gonna take it over the heat press and get that smashed. All right guys, so that's the final design. Again, this is a 100% polyester apron with a applique design using a bandana. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna get this over to my barber. Hopefully he's happy with it. If you do have any questions or any suggestions for future videos, let me know. Leave a comment in the description and I'll check them out. Otherwise, have a good one. Take care.